anonymous bully, all because she's black. Fox 2's Dave Spencer with the story. Lisa Griffey had no illusions when she took the job with the Department of Corrections. Her professional life would be stressful. That's pretty much part for the course with being a probation agent. But nothing could have prepared her for the last two years on the job. Very, very stressful. Hard on me, hard on my family. She says the harassment she experienced at her office in Lapeer has caused her health problems, and it started immediately. My supervisor, when going around asking, what people wanted for lunch. He asked me that I want chitlins on my pizza. Derogatory, racist comments from her co-workers. In a building of 200, she says she was the only African-American person there. I was referred to as the black one. Um, I was called Mammy one day when I came into the office. One of my co-workers said, morning, Mammy. She claims to have filed eight complaints with her supervisors, all falling on deaf ears. He had no idea that, that Mammy was a racist term that's very derogatory towards black women. So she filed something else, a lawsuit against the Department of Corrections. Her attorney says this goes well beyond an isolated case in Genesee County. John Marco says in the eight years he's been with this firm, he's personally handled nearly a dozen cases of racism just like this with the Department of Corrections. He says unless something is done about it, this is something we'll all be paying for. No matter how much money that I've seen juries award, it doesn't change. It doesn't stop. Marco says in prior cases, the department makes no attempts to try and correct this alleged behavior. A high-level supervisor for the Michigan Department of Corrections, I asked him, what is an African-American supposed to do if they're discriminated against in the Michigan Department of Corrections? <clears throat> you know what he said to me? He said, quote, they should shut up and go back to work. He says it took some guts for his client to come forward. Her husband, also named in the suit, is a deputy warden in the department. And the harassment started after he was promoted and his wife transferred to Lapeer to be closer to home. I just believe that people were not happy that I was there. And, and they felt like they just... They would react however they wanted to. The MDOC told us they haven't received the suit, which was filed on Monday, but don't comment on lawsuits either way. Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. Snyder and Twitter is accused of impersonating a mailman and using a fake ID at a cell phone store.